Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Christopher Lightfoot here at Struxoft Solutions and today I'm going to be taking you through the first part of my Dynamo workflow series aimed at increasing design efficiency and coordination. As you can see in the Revit file that we have today, we've got a simple arrangement of Revit walls, all of which have been panelized using our MWF software. And uh, some of these walls also have uh, windows and doors modeled within them as well. The Dynamo script, which I'm going to show you today, uh, is basically aimed at strengthening the relationship between our MWF panels and the walls, windows, and doors, which influence their design. Uh, we can also see here in the background, uh, some of the walls are in fact color coded. Uh, these of course uh, correspond to different shear types uh, or shear wall types. So you can see I've got a shear wall A is, is red, shear wall B is blue, etc. <coughs> so just before I jump into the Dynamo scripts, um, I just wanted to provide a bit of an example of, as to why we may want to increase this relationship or certainly strengthen this relationship between our MWF panels and the Revit elements. So let's, for example, say we want to know uh, within our project how many panels have a door. Uh, we can see in this, this view, it's quite easy to count. It's panel six, seven, and 14. Uh, but if this project was a lot bigger, that process would take uh, a little longer. And, and certainly through the use of view filters, and uh, isolating and hiding certain elements, we could still um, gather the information to a certain degree, but it would still be quite a manual process and there's always a little bit of risk in that. Likewise, if I wanted to know uh, which panels contain a specific type of window or multiple types of a certain window, um, again, this is quite tricky to, to kind of uh, schedule or to obtain uh, in an automated fashion. So if we go to our schedules here, you can see they're, uh, they're expecting information, which we're gonna populate, but in terms of the categories or the available fields that we can use, there isn't a great deal we can use to get the, the panel IDs uh, into these selected elements. <coughs> Likewise, if we wanted to use, um, let's say a shear wall schedule like this, and we wanted to know uh, in advance uh, which panels needed uh, which kind of note associated to their, their wall type. Again, this is information that's not too available to us and it would require a fair deal of coordination to uh, populate this information. And uh, of course, once that happens, we're, we kind of are in the process of having to manage that information should anything change in the project. So we ideally like some form of solution that is a little easier to work with and has a little more control and accuracy. So, just going to open my Dynamo player. Here we go. And so I've got two Dynamo scripts here for us. Uh, the first one we're going to use is the MWF copy panel ID values, and it's copying to the walls, windows, and doors. And so essentially what I've done uh, within the Revit project is create a few uh, panel ID parameters associated to walls, windows, and doors. And when we run this script, <coughs> you can see there, uh, that Dynamo has taken the panel ID value uh, from, in this case, it's from the uh, panel label, and it's populated it within the wall. It's likewise, simultaneously, also populated that same value into all of the windows associated to this uh, to this panel. It's just done it the same for the, uh, the doors in the project. And so this means I can now go to my schedules and I can find out exactly which panels have a door, which panels have a window or multiple windows. And most importantly, I can find out which panels uh, are associated to which wall types, meaning I can now coordinate the shear wall notes in a more effective manner. I do also have a second script here, which is aimed at controlling this information once it's produced. So if we were, for example, to produce some more panels or remove some panels and add maybe a few um, new openings, etc., these elements would then not have any of this ID uh, information. So we could either rerun or just to be safe, we could clear all these values just like that. And it'll essentially take all those values and get rid of them, basically. So 
I'm just going to now jump into the actual Dynamo uh, graph itself. So we want to open our copy panel ID. And once you get in here, uh, you can see we've got three groups. The, the first group here is going to copy the ID from the panel label to the wall parameter. So feel free to set the wall parameter um, to whatever you'd like uh, within your, your project. But essentially, this small piece of uh, Dynamo uh, script here is essentially taking the, the panel labels. It's getting all instances of them. It's simultaneously getting the uh, value of this parameter and the hosted element and it's populating this uh, parameter here with the value that it got uh, from this parameter into the hosted element. <coughs> Simultaneously, what's also happening below this graph is very much the same thing, uh, except rather than look at the BIMSF container, these two graphs are looking for uh, the ID of the wall, so the value that we're actually producing here. So in order to do this simultaneously, we have a thread.pause uh, node here, which essentially puts a one second uh, pause on these two scripts uh, to allow this first script to fully uh, produce the values for these two scripts to then uh, copy as well. So if you do run this script on a larger project and you find you may have some inconsistencies on it, uh, feel free to just change this value to something more reasonable, say five seconds, just to give the software enough time to, to populate all those values. Uh, but this is essentially the, uh, the essence of this script. And likewise, it can be used for a few of the uh, purposes as well. So I'm just going to finally run the script one final time. And we'll close this. And no, we don't want to save. <clears throat> and again, we can see the values have been populated. So this has been the first part of a Dynamo workflow series that we, uh, we aim to produce. Um, I hope it's been informative. Uh, you can get a copy of this. Uh, Dynamo uh, graph or this Dynamo script from our company website, Strokesoft Solutions, uh, within the free app section, where you can also check out some other free Dynamo scripts uh, that are on that uh, within that section as well. Thank you. Goodbye.